Good evening guys and happy Wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces guys. I didn't end up getting to a whole ton of like my normal like daily sort of things today. I did I had a little bit of time earlier today but I also woke up sort of late so I didn't have like that much time and then um, after that we ended up having to sort of get the living room picked up because like we're not going to be here for Thanksgiving. We're going to my aunt's house for Thanksgiving. Um, and so, but for before Thanksgiving, like before we go to her house, um, we're going to do appetizers while we watch the Bears game. So my mom wants like it picked up in the living room and sort of cleaned and everything like that. Like just for our family while we're just home watching the football game until again, um, having, uh, going over to her house for, um, like Thanksgiving dinner, which I think is going to be around like three o'clock or a little afterwards like after the Bears game so that we don't have to like miss it or miss the end or halfway through or something like that so that's what we ended up telling her that like oh we'll be there like you know whatever time after the Bears game's over um and so then and we're bringing a lot of not a lot but you know like it's just literally like uh, our family my aunts and then her mom that's like it <laughs> so it's actually gonna be a really small party my mom was like I feel sort of bad now like knowing that like my other aunt and uncle weren't coming either she's like because and my cousin is only one of my cousins and um I think her because she has to work so um, I think it's just going to be her that winds up coming. Um, and like she might not be there like super early. So, um, you know, I don't know if, what time exactly. Or if my aunt was like, oh, we'll do it at three because I think she has to work earlier in the day or something like that. But anyways, um, because of all that, my mom was like, I do feel sort of bad. Like it's only going to be four extra people that we're celebrating Thanksgiving with. And my mom was like, we probably could have had the party at our house then. Other than having to deal with the dogs, which I don't feel so bad now that we have bark collars for them. Like we can get them to stop barking working if we have them in like somebody's bedroom or something like that and somebody goes in sporadically sort of checks on them and stuff um and again they have the bark collar so they're not barking I feel like and like we're gonna be home we could even crate them if we had to which we don't do very often um but I feel like that's a better situation to do if they're going to like you know like we're gonna be still at the house with them just because I don't know I feel weird crating them I know most people crate their dogs when they're not home I feel like for us that's sort of weird like we just crate them when again more like company comes over sometimes um but like or you know like a lot of times that we really don't I mean we we the crates in the garage and I think Think, honestly the last time we used it was mate I don't even think we used it for 4th of July I feel like we used it like maybe before that like sometime in the spring or something like that or maybe even like last Christmas and so I think that was probably the last time we used it but we don't really use it like hardly at all so it's not like oh it's a punishment like people are coming over so you're being punished and we're putting you in the crate or you know it's like something like that it's more like it's just to sort of contain them so that they're like we'll leave them in somebody's bedroom and I have no problem with that it's just like I don't want them to get into something that they're not supposed to and not realize that there's something that they're getting into they're not supposed to so um like I said that's why like normally like we didn't and I didn't even think about that for 4th of July we probably should have or could have done that um instead we had them whining like the whole time but I feel like that is sort of one of the things too is that they do whine a lot when they're in the crate versus if they're not and they're just like in somebody's room like locked with you know in, with the door closed and everything like that then they're not that bad there would just be a lot of whining that we'd have to listen to but probably not as much barking just because like I said we have spray collars for them um and so and they work I feel like really well for them for the most part um like when we leave they don't even make a peep it's weird though when people come over now which used to be the opposite they used to still try and like Charlie would try and bark through his collar while we were gone um like I don't think that he was like really like that disciplined in like it yet maybe or something like that but as soon as we leave the house he doesn't even make a peep at all even when we come home he barks for like a couple seconds before like he realizes like oh it's you guys and then you know like it's quiet again <laughs> and so once we get the door unlocked but um like they don't they just don't bark like at all when we're not here anymore um at least as far as I know because I'm not here to know if they bark but um 
yeah and then you know like i said i feel like just like they like my cousin my aunt and cousin one of my other cousins ended up coming over um like a, a little while ago and i had all the spray collars on them because i was like i'm gonna keep them quiet and i kept like using them and they kept just like charlie especially kept barking through it and so did bravo and bliss was the actually the only one that was good but the other two they just sort of were like ah i don't care like they're strangers in our house and we don't like this and maybe too it was because we had them in the hallway like if we didn't charlie was actually totally fine the last time that he was with like my aunt was over um but like i said it's just it's a lot of people and so like you know even still like just we'd put them away somewhere while we have company over and on top of that too they're small little dogs and if we're cooking in the kitchen or whatever like you know tripping over them wouldn't be a good idea <laughs> so um that's why like i said my mom was like if i would have known it was just four people i would have offered to have hosted thanksgiving that and also too like my uncle ended up having surgery a little while ago so he's not as mobile but um so i think maybe that's why too like it's just a little bit easier like they don't have to drive over to somebody else's house for like thanksgiving or whatever um but like i said my mom was saying that and I was like we really could have like you know again if it's just four people I feel like once there's anything more than that is when we start to sort of like lose control <laughs> like we don't have a big enough house and again we're not cooking food for that many people either even though it is Thanksgiving we can manage with using the roaster to cook the the turkey and throw everything else in the oven and stuff like that cook whatever we need to on the stove um you know so like i said we probably could have done it you know knowing that now but we didn't when we were you know thinking about what we were going to wind up doing for thanksgiving so anyways um yeah but we ended up getting the the living room picked up because we did have a couple like bins of stuff that we've been going through with the attic stuff like the stuff that we've been putting things in like for example every single loose puzzle piece Piece, loose game piece that I've been finding I've been gathering up and keeping in a little like little tote and I have it pretty much completely filled up and I was like I need to go through this finally and so I went through our game closets which is in the living room which is our coat closet we keep all the games on the top shelf a, a lot of them we have more in the attic which we haven't gotten to yet so I'm gonna have to do this all over again but we did go through a big box of puzzles too so I had also a bunch of loose puzzle pieces I actually finished off and found a lot of the missing pieces to puzzle pieces that ended up actually like we finished the puzzles because I found those pieces and had all the pieces for the puzzles um so like I said that was really good and we were able to like get that stuff done but again it was sort of just a little like we did some cleaning things today and again we cleaned out like a little bit of attic stuff and things like that um and we'll probably I honestly don't know though because like after this um after thanksgiving tomorrow even possibly at the end of tomorrow we might wind up putting up our christmas tree and so like that we won't have room really to like bring down like totes to go through things to be able to clean out the attic so i don't really know what we're gonna wind up doing the other thing that does sort of stink though right now is that it's really hard to actually get to all the christmas decorations in the attic right now because we did have to sort of move some things in order to like keep cleaning out some of the area and so it was just like oh like you know there's like boxes stacked on top of each other or whatever and we were like oh like we just have to like move instead of having the boxes stacked too high we like moved one over so that like you know it was easier to like you know get them out and stuff like that so there's some um, there's not as great of access to the Christmas decorations right now which is going to be a little tough to be able to get to so um yeah but we're gonna have to like I said get all of that sort of taken care of and maybe like on Thursday though we just like take down all of the fall decorations and then put up all the Christmas stuff um like on Friday or something like that I don't know but yeah that's sort of what it's looking like maybe just because I don't know how easy it's going to be to get to that stuff um and then I did like dishes and sort of laundry we had to cook the mac and cheese that we're going to make for the party tomorrow um that we pre-cooked Matthew had to pre-make some of his stuff my mom did a lot of that yesterday um when she made the turkey and so she ended up making homemade gravy to bring with tomorrow um because my aunt is doing a um like a turkey breast instead of a full turkey so my mom ended up making gravy from the turkey that we ended up getting because my mom loves to make like you know again a turkey that I ended up getting super cheap like under 10 bucks for a big size turkey my mom's able to turn into like 
a good several meals and freeze a lot of the stuff too like extra turkey meat and the broth and you know like all that kind of stuff that she ended up making and like she likes to do like turkey salad and you know like I said a lot of that kind of stuff so like we just will have it extras of it so like one turkey that costs ten dollars under that it'll wind up going for like multiple you know like meals to feed us so that's really good um and again we can sort of you know like again get a lot out of it but um you know it was she just did all of that yesterday and then also too because she was like oh well since we're sort of like doing like this as dinner for like a pre-thanksgiving she ended up again making some of the other things too that either she was bringing with to my aunts anyway like there's a special cranberry salad sort of stuff that she makes and um again a couple other things but then we ended up having it sort of for dinner too yesterday like she ended up making I don't know if we're actually bringing sweet potatoes or not, but my dad loves sweet potatoes. So my mom just made mashed sweet potatoes for my dad um, and regular mashed potatoes, which my aunt, my other aunt is making for Thanksgiving tomorrow, but we're, my mom just made it so that again, we can use up some of our potatoes because I got good deals on potatoes too. I think like the weeks leading up to Thanksgiving. Um, and you know, again, all that kind of stuff too. So it's just sort of like, you know, use those things and get them used up and, um, you know, sort of make a, a little pre thing Thanksgiving dinner yesterday sort of thing um even though like Matthew wasn't home and my dad had to actually work really late last night too so it was just sort of like me and Jack also cooking in the kitchen when we were making the mac and cheese but again like a lot of that stuff was just you know us and just making like a pre-Thanksgiving sort of <laughs> dinner um and we were planning on making the mac and cheese because Jack was really nervous about making it and bringing it with if he hadn't tried the recipe because it was different than the one he used um for his cooking class and so he was like I really want to like you know make sure that we know the recipe well before which I've made before a couple times um but he was like well if I'm making it then I want to know what I'm doing and everything like that so I sort of walked him through it and then made it you know we made it yesterday and then he was like okay I can make it you know like perfectly fine now today which he actually felt like he shredded the cheese. That's the one thing I hate about doing homemade mac and cheese. I never use pre-shredded. I always buy the chunks and shred it because it melts better. Um, and so he, um, that's like sort of what he did and like made sure like we had all the ingredients measured out and then like, you know, sort of like whisked and stirred things when, you know, I was like, hey, like watch this. Just don't let it, you know, like burn. Other than that, I felt like I sort of like did a lot of it, but we also didn't like, nobody was like, oh, we need to make sure like we keep watching the recipe and stuff like that because we just made it yesterday. We knew, I, I had actually, I knew all of the ingredients in exactly how much of everything we needed, which is like, I normally don't remember recipes just off the top of my head, but I did this one just because we made it yesterday. So I was like, we need two and a half cups of milk and we need a half a stick of butter and we needed a fourth of a cup of flour and then I used like a half a teaspoon spoon of we didn't have seasoned salt left over so I used garlic salt and that was like my secret ingredient <laughs> um which I think gives it a little extra flavor um and then like a little less than a half a teaspoon of pepper and um like I said regular salt and then we mixed it all in with the um and I did a little bit more now I made mine a little different than the recipe too because it called for like a full pound of cheese shredded cheese so I used two bricks of cheese but we ended up doing actually a third brick and we added a extra sharp cheddar um, instead, which is actually an extra sharp white cheddar. Um, and, but I, I held off and saved about a little over a cup or like around a cup worth of cheese to top over so that you get that crispy bubble on the top. That's why I ended up shredding a little bit more than what the recipe called for so we could add extra of it over the top going with about a pound and a fourth yesterday when we made it. And so we went with a pound and a half today, but again, set aside some of that so we can get that bubbliness over over the top because I didn't have enough left over yesterday so I just used some pre-shredded stuff it still tasted really good I just think that it will be delicious if I had enough to top it which I did um and also to to make sure that it's like that I just gonna be extra bubbly but the only thing is we're gonna have to figure out is because we didn't bake it yet um and we're gonna have to bake it tomorrow and because it's gonna come out of the fridge um it might need to be baked a little bit longer than it did yesterday because yesterday it was still warm like when we put it in the pot it was still warm it was just to sort of get that like crisp over the cheese sort of thing um and so that's why I feel like now that we're going to be taking it out of the fridge and putting it in the oven is when we're going to need to make sure that it's like 
you know, we might have to cook it a little longer. I don't know. Um, so anyways, like I said, and I don't want it to burn either too. So that's why I'm like, maybe we should cook it a little bit lower of a temperature just because we didn't put it in for very long yesterday. And again, it was already warm, but I want to make sure it's not cold still when we go to serve it. And then too, like transporting it while it's still hot. So that's also a huge thing. And I don't want to bring it to my aunts and be like, oh, now you have to stick this in the oven too. Like I want to bring it as warm as possible. And if it isn't, then like maybe see if we can just pop it in the oven but I always try and bring like whatever dish that we're making warm still so that we don't have to um like and we do have some travel like you know um what's it called like travel um like warm keeper thingies sort of um I don't want to call them coolers but I think it actually works hot and cold and you can get we have this little thing too that you can actually it's like a like a ice pack sort of thing it's fits this one specifically so you can warm it up too to actually keep it warm when you go to serve it um so it's not cold so like I said there's you know there's that but anyways guys yeah that was today it was all preparation for Thanksgiving and um I think that we're good too so too I found a hack that I saw online and I think I've seen this a couple times but I totally forgot about it that in our refrigerator I was like oh, we're gonna have to stack all of these like we used you know the disposable like um what's it called like you know trays sort of things the dishes uh, half pans and I was like you know this is just impossible like you can never get the aluminum foil strong enough on the lid to like be able to stack them without like crushing and I was like I don't want all the cheese to stick to the mac and cheese either if we put something else on top of it and I saw this beautiful hack on um like I think on Facebook or something like that where you use cookie trays and you put the cookie trays on top of the pans and then you stack more stuff on top of it and because it distributes the weight you don't have to worry about it crushing through the you know than the other pans and I was like why did I not think of this before this is so brilliant and we have like cheap little dollar store ones too so they actually fit perfectly like just right on top of a half pan perfectly that it's not too big because we have other ones that are like much bigger like a double like size of what like what a double pan would be sort of but these ones from the dollar store my mom ended up buying like a while ago um I don't really know what for because we only have two so maybe she bought extras for just like oh we have extra cookies or like Christmas or whatever but like I said, that was like the smartest idea and it worked so brilliantly. And all of a sudden I was like, we didn't need all this extra space in the fridge that I thought we were going to need because we can just stack this stuff now because I'm always like, oh, like we can't put anything too heavy or like, you know, if we do, we have to put the trays on the top. So again, the like the lids don't get crushed in or whatever, but no guys, it works so perfectly. I was like, why is this a new concept that I just <laughs> came up with, figured out like this Thanksgiving would have been so helpful for so many years. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna take a shower and get to bed. I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you subscribe, and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So, bye guys.